Awesome. And he's laid to practice even at his own home. I love it. That's the best, you guys. <laughs> you know, Alex, he's always late. So even in his own home, he's going to be late to class. So let's get started, you guys. Child pose. Good morning. Happy Saturday morning, you guys. My name is Leah Green, and I am so excited to lead you through your practice this morning. Go ahead and get on your mat. Shift your hips back. Walk your hands forward. Awesome. Ujjayi we'll breath here. Strong inhale through the nose, filling the lungs to capacity. Deep exhale out of the nose, emptying out. Breath in. Full empty. As you inhale, reach your hands forward, walking up the mat, getting out of your low back. And then exhale, press your hands down and push your hips back. Feel the stretch. Draw your thoracic spine in. Move your upper arm bones back. And a big, deep inhale. Ha. Ah. Downward facing dog. Sometimes it's just a good release and a ha on the out. Just let it out. Sometimes that's like letting out anxiety or stress. Like those of you who have animals, sometimes you'll see your cats and dogs like take a big wide yawn. It's the same thing as like us taking a big like, I'm just releasing. Spread your fingers out. Create a solid foundation. Press through your hands. Feel your knuckles here as you press down into the hands. And you can take your feet a little bit wider. You can take more distance between the feet. And now lift your tailbone up. You want a flat spine here. Press your heels back. Big inhale. Big exhale. Great job. Fill your lungs. Open your mouth. <sighs> Welcome, Mr. Norkis. Now pedal your feet here. Put a bend in your knee and press through the center of your back heel. Switch to the other side, bend the knee, press back. And then everybody, press both heels up and over the mounds of your toes and press your heels back and down. Draw in to create your full expression out. And walk your feet behind your wrist, rag doll. So your feet are going to be hip width distance, maybe even wider. And grab opposite elbows and just hang. Your head hangs. Rock side to side. My first couple of ragdolls, I like a big bend in my knee, like a deep bend with my chest to my thighs. Just allow myself to start lifting through the hips. So try that on. Drop your chest. And then lift your hips and drop your head. And just go from there. Rock your head out. Yeah, maybe you shake your head out, not rock it out. Yeah, shake it. Yes. No. And then come back to a yes. And drop your right hand to the center of your mat. Lift your left hand to the sky. I want you to take ragdoll twist. So bend your right knee and press your left heel down as you lift up. And then look up. Big inhale. And as you exhale, pull your shoulder blade into your spine, move it into your body. Twist. Breathe in. Rinse out. And then release to the other side. 
Left hand to the center, left knee bend. Right hand up, press down into your right heel. Breath in, get long. Exhale, shoulders integrate, twist. Breathe in, length. Exhale, rinse. And release everything to the center. Bring your feet to touch. Extended mountain, reach up. Lift all ten toes up. Stretch them out on the mat. Press the center of your toe mounds down. Press the center of your heel down. Lift up and look up. Bring your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Lift your elbows in line with your wrists. And we'll take one full ohm. Breath in. Ah. Inhale, Tadasana, full reach, look up. Exhale, forward bow. Halfway lift, big inhale. Flatten your spine. High plank. Step back. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Right here, you want to stack the joints. Pull your heels over your toes. Shift your shoulders forward, maybe even over your wrist. We call that a plunge. Yeah, and then drop your pelvis a little bit lower. I would rather you have your booty in line with your hips or shoulders, like in a real plank, and dropping the knees, then your butt pops up to the sky. So draw in to create your full expression. Right here, you have one more breath. Take it low. Bend the elbows. Come forward and down. Upward facing dog. Straighten the arms. Now pull your chest forward. Downward facing dog. <sighs> There it is, breathe in, exhale out. Find the rhythm of your breath, fill up, empty, oh, weight in your hands, look at the top of your mat, go there, feet between your hands, halfway lift, forward fold, Tadasana, big reach, fill up, look between your hands, tiny back bend, forward bow. Halfway lift, flatten the spine, high plank. Low plank, forward and down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Great job, three more breaths right here in downward facing dog. Take another big full inhale. Look at the top of your mat. Go on your exhale. Halfway lift, forward bow, Tadasana. Reach up, extend your arms, look between your hands, take a tiny back bend, forward fold. Halfway lift, step back high plank. Go forward and down, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Find your breath here, you guys. Ujjayi, in through the nose, filling the capacity. Exhale through the nose, completely releasing. Take a full breath in. Exhale out. Look at the top of your mat. Walk up or float. Halfway lift. Forward bow. Tadasana, big reach. Lengthen up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. 
Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Look at the top of your mat. Everybody, put your weight in your hands. Bend your knees. Move to the top of your mat. Feet between your hands. Lift halfway. Forward fold. Ukatasana. Chair pose. Sink your head down here. Now lift the front of your pelvis. Let your tailbone descend. Yes, lower down even more. Press your knees back in line with your ankles. From your skin to your muscle to your bones, hug in. Right here, reach your hands up. Take your hips down. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Ah, take it back. Upward facing dog. Pull your chest forward. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot to your right hand. Warrior one. Moving into your first lunge. Be intentional. Take it deep. Pull your front knee over your front ankle. Press your back foot down into the earth. Reach up and look. Chaturanga Dandasana. Hands to the mat, go forward and down, upward dog, downward facing dog, left side, you guys, warrior one, press through your feet, lift your toes, stretch them out, now take the lunge even deeper, reach up, look up, chaturanga, slow it out, step it back, upward dog, everybody, downward facing dog. Right here, take three more breaths, and then we're going to take four more sunbeats. Picking up the pace, here we go. Breathe in, go forward, half lift, bow, ukatasana, sink into the hips, forward bow, halfway lift, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Stay in your breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, warrior one. Right foot forward. Step through. Reach up. Chaturanga. Yeah, so vinyasa to the other side. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Left foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Lunge in. Exhale, chaturanga. Ah, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Ujjayi, you guys. Notice if you come out and you start going into that like panic breath. Get out of your head. Just focus right here on your breath. Filling through the lungs. Emptying it out. Yeah, look forward. Go forward. Lift halfway. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Ukatasana, sink down, chair pose. That's it, big toes to touch, gap in the heels. Lowering your hips, forward bow. Halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, right foot forward, step in, lunge in. Ground down, reach up, go back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step the left side, warrior one. Set the foundation. Go into the lunge, reach up, take it back. Arch back, walk back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pull the chest forward, lift the thighs. Downward facing dog, amazing. Three breaths. Whoo. Right here, full inhalation. Open the mouth, full exhale. Ha. Look forward, walk, jump, or float. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Bow forward, halfway lift, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, empty and downward dog. Take the right foot, warrior one. Really receive this pose, lunge in, reach up. And then slow it out, chaturanga. 
upward facing dog, stay in the breath, empty and downward dog, step the left foot, warrior one, breathe in, and then chaturanga, exhale out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Uh, now your body is fully awakened. Yeah. And slang, you are woke. And bring your hands together at the top of your mat. Your thumbs to touch. And then lift the right foot up to the sky. Bend your knee. Take three-legged down dog to flip dog. And from three-legged down dog, just bend the knee and create the hook opening up through the hip flexors. And then flip dog, drop your right foot down and then press into your heels as you reach up and back. And the option to stay in three-legged down dog is available. Keep reaching and going even further. Everybody, wherever you're at, draw in to create your full expression out. Side plank on your right. There's lots of ways you can take your side plank. I invite you to take one you've never tried. And sometimes I get in my head about what that means. Like I've done this every way. But really go into like your fullest expression. And when you get there, do something you've never done. Take it even deeper, a little bit higher. Expand from the inside out. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <sighs> then readjust your hands back at the top of your mat for your left side, three legged down dog. Bring your left leg to the sky, bend the knee. And then from here, keep opening or flip the dog. Left foot down, left hand up and around. Beautiful, Carol, that's it. Arch your back, everybody, right here, reach back. Yeah, and maybe you even go a little bit deeper into wheel. What is available right here, right now? Side plank. If you're nursing a shoulder injury or maybe you've been in our boot camp and your arms are on fire, you can drop to your forearms here. But don't give in. Like, don't give up here. Go back just like the other side and start to explore. Get curious where you have more available. Yeah, if you've never dropped back into wild thing, maybe right here you press that foot back and go back. Arching the back and looking back. Yeah, if you don't know what that looks like, I can take it here. So you can just drop this foot and start reaching it towards your drop hand, coming to the foot, reaching back to the wall or the surface behind you, lifting up, reaching back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Empty. Lift your right foot to the sky, swing it forward, crescent lunge. Your back heel is up towards the sky in a runner's pose. Deep in the lunge, bring your knee over your ankle. Bring the awareness into your front ribs. If your front ribs are poking out, go ahead. Right here, draw the front ribs in. You'll notice your pelvis starts to align and your mid-back open. And then lunge in and drop your hips down in line with your front knee. Right here, bring your hands to heart center. Engage your core, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then twist. Take the longest twist you've got, deeper than you've gone before. Look up. Shift your gaze in this twist. And as you deepen your lunge, see if you can't start to expand your arms. Take your top hand to the sky, your bottom hand possibly reaching towards your toes. 
And as you inhale, get long here. And on the exhale, pull your shoulder blades in and then tiny twist here. That's it. Breathe in, lean. Exhale, twist. Shift into warrior two. Spin the back heel down and then lunge in a little bit deeper. Everybody, look at your right knee. If your right knee is pushing in towards your big toe, go ahead and move it out. Like, squeeze it where it's in line with your middle to pinky toe. And then take your sword to opposite side. Deepen your lunge. Get your knee forward. Extended side angle. You can start slowly coming on to the inner thigh here or even extending the arm straight into the inside. Get light on your bottom hand so you have like these spider fingers really light on the ground. Pressing to the center of your front heel. Lift up here. And then as you exhale, twist open. That openness is going to give you access to something new. Yeah, maybe it's your gaze up. Maybe it's a bind or bird of paradise. Like get into your practice here. Get into your body and get curious what can happen right now. Draw in to create your full expression out. Yes, that's it, ladies. And Alex, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Woo, downward facing dog. Nice work. Yeah, what we do on the right, you get to do on the left. So send your left foot up to the sky. Crescent lunge. Step it forward. Be intentional, creating the physical foundation of the pose here, you guys. Really set down your feet into the earth. Feel your back heel lift up, and then as you zip the back leg, you'll get stronger, and then lunge even deeper. Pull your pelvis up towards your belly button. Now sink down where your hips are in line with your knees. Reach up. Tighten the core. Hands at heart center. Left. Twist. Start digging, you guys. Right here are all the secrets to the next chapter for you, to like the next place in this pose for you. Pressing into your hands. Maybe it's expanding your arms. Keep getting curious where you can go. Like looking up. Like where do you stop naturally? Where does it feel like you're cranking? And then find that middle point. Now draw your thoracic spine in. Move the upper arm bones back. Right there. Take a tiny twist. Now oh, warrior two. Seems like your legs are exhausted, but you're way more powerful than that. Breathe right into that. Energy goes there. Lunge in. Adjust your front knee over to your pinky toe. Extended side angle. Take your left hand to the inside of your left thigh. You got it. The deeper you want, the easier it's going to be to access any binds here. So if you're working a bind, really sink into your front knee. And everybody go right here. Create space for something new. Beautiful. Three more breaths. From your skin to your muscle to your bone, hug in. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Pull your chest forward. Expand. Downward facing dog. Ha. Look at the top of your mat. Walk, jump, or float. Halfway lift. Forward bow. Chair pose. So lift the front of your pelvis up towards your belly button. And then shift your heels down into the earth, your knees back, and then lower your butt even more. 
That's it. Sink down even more. Hands to heart center. Twist to your right. Ukatasana prayer twist. Yeah, an open twist. The Norcuses are showing an open twist. It's beautiful. Like, think about drawing your thoracic spine in and upper arm bones back. This upper twist is a great um, way to take this pose as well, taking your gaze back, giving you a little more access to the neck and spine. Yeah, and if you're in this side twist, yeah, crunching forward, think about that same length as if you were creating that same length of Tadasana. Reach through the crown of your head. Everybody, lower your hips even more. Twist. Ragdoll. Grab your piece or grab your big toes with your peace fingers. I mean, if you can grab your peace fingers with your big toes, it's kind of weird, but do that too. Yeah. And then shift your hips over your heels. Drop your head. Like let the crown of your head release towards the mat. If it feels a little scary there, press through the center of your heels. Steady it out. And then take an inhale, flatten your back, press your chest to your thighs. And on the exhale, I want you to lift your tailbone up as you drop your head. And you can use your toes and pull in. There it is. Breathe in. Bow forward. One more fill up. Clear it out. Yeah, release your toes, bring your knees together, your feet together. Ukatasana. And chair pose twist to the left. Five breaths. Sink your hips down. Draw in to create your full expression out. Five breaths seems like it's so long, but really it goes so quick. So drop down right here, last breath, reach up, lift out, ragdoll. Okay, gorilla. So you're going to slide your palms right under your feet until your toes touch your wrist crease. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, lift. Exhale, bow. One more, fill up, flatten the spine. Really feel yourself extend here. And then exhale, fold. Mindfully release your hands. And then pop your hands into the mat, take throw. And just right in to your inversion. So for throw, I want you to spread your fingers out and place your hands into the earth. Bend your elbows and bring your knees towards the back of your triceps. Yeah, maybe even your armpits if that's accessible for you. And then think about pulling your toes together and then shifting forward. You can take one foot, both feet, or stay right here where you're at. But everybody, fill your lungs, full capacity, inhale. And then exhale, settle in just a little bit, right there. One more breath in. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Look at the top of your mat. Walk, jump, or float. Halfway lift. Forward bow. Tadasana. Come up to a standing pose. And then take a standing leg raise on your right. So bring your right knee up to your hip height. And flex your toes towards your face. Play with the possibility of extending your leg or maybe grabbing through your foot. Press through the four corners of your standing foot. 
Open up here. Bring your right foot over to the right side, lengthening up through the crown of your head. Come back into the center. Take your plane. Slowly press your right foot back. Drop your chest forward. Pull your thoracic spine in. Move your upper arm bones back here. You want shoulder integration as you start to lift up. Your front foot is at 12. Flex your toes. Lift your heel. Half moon. I would drop my left hand to the earth first. And then stack your hips. Stack your shoulders. Reach your hands. And then at the very, very end, shift your gaze. And you can play with any variation of this. If you want more, bend your knee, go for Chapasana. Yeah, and those of you in Chapasana, if you want a little more play, get light on your bottom hand and come up for dancer pose. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Ah, great job. Yeah, Debbie and Nicole, there it is. Come on, Sally, you can do it. Stand up for dancer. You got it right there, right there. Lift up, lift up. Yes! Nice job, you guys. Tadasana, both feet to the earth. Reach up, find length. Take a tiny back bend. Ah, and go for standing leg raise, the left side. Bring your left knee at hip height. Flex your toes. Maybe even extend your foot and see if you can't straighten the leg or reach for your foot. Ooh, I got about two seconds of a straight leg. I'll take that today. And then open, play with opening over to the side. Lifting through the crown of your head, get tight, come back in. Slowly release the foot and press back airplane. Slow and controlled. Thoracic spine in, move your upper arm bone back. It's this place like you're pressing down as you're lifting up at the same time. So it's almost like you're drawing your shoulders in, but you have the feeling as if you could press down into the earth, but you're lifting your heel up. Action in the back foot, really strong back leg. Make your move, let's play half moon. Right hand down. Ah, so you're kind of like grounding each point at a time as your hand lands and shift your hips and then your shoulders. And if you're ready for it, you'll take your gaze or your bind, whatever is available right there for you. And I invite you to bring that same playfulness into this side. Yeah, and maybe you fall out, right? You just come right back in. Like, I love to play in Chapasana and Chapasana to dancer, and sometimes I can't even get into half moon. So it's like one step at a time. Yeah, what's happening in your body on this side? Right now, where can you go? Three breaths. Draw in to create your full expression out. Tadasana, everybody. Big reach. Feet to the earth. Lengthen up. Juicy back bend. Hands at your heart center. Tree. And on your tree, we're going to take the right foot to your left leg. Put your toes on the standing foot and stretch them out. You can place them down one at a time. Pull your sides of the body up towards your ears and then draw your shoulders straight back. Nice and tall here. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Maybe it's to the sky. Maybe you're outside and you 
can even shift up. Everybody look up between your hands. Tadasana. Both feet to the earth. Reach up. Hands at heart center. Three. Take your left foot into the right leg this time. So we're switching sides. And then step into this side, like newly, freshly. Like what happened on the other side never happened. And like this is a new opportunity, a fresh slate to discover anything right here. And if you fall out, I invite you right back in. That's it. Yes, Alex. Everybody, reach your hands up. Go for it from here. Reach up. Look up. Maybe even go for the back end right here. Expand from the inside out. Tadasana. Great job, you guys. Reach up. Look back. Forward fold. You guys are inspiring. Halfway lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. It's like the secret every teacher doesn't tell you and it's like you lead the class. You know, every class, like we're watching you and where you wanna go. Like Nicole and Debbie are leading the class right now. I'm watching their bodies. Like Alex and Megan are leading the class. Sally is leading the class. That's it. It's like you guys, Sham, Naya, Carol, Jackie. Yeah, and even those of you who don't have your cameras on, Christine, Molly, Angelique, and Dr. Golden, it's like all of you. Yeah, what you need, you take right here. Big inhale. Together. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. Warrior one. Grounded back into the earth. Warrior two, open up here. Pull your knee over towards your pinky toe and then lunge in and then deepen the lunge. Yeah, lunge in the deep, whichever it is. And then right here, press in to your front foot and extend the front leg. Hands out, reach forward, triangle, also known as trikonasana. So you do have three points of contact, but the two main foundations of this practice are your legs, you guys. Really press down into the feet, squeeze your outer shins in. Now lengthen, reach up tall, exhale, rinse, twist it out here. Pump your chest, expand your upper back. Big breath in, twist out. Yes, fill up, let it go. Warrior two. And straighten your front knee. Pivot your front foot to face the same as your back foot for side facing forward fold. It's actually called side facing wide legged forward fold, known as the longest name in history. But here, I invite you to take your feet out a little bit wider, like create distance in your feet especially when you're not in the studio and you're at home, being able to stabilize without a block is really important. So maybe take a little bit more distance than you're used to and then shift your hips forward, like actually right here before you even hinge, push your pelvis forward and then grab your hips and then bow from there. Notice if your hips start to push back, stay forward, hips over heels, driving the chest forward and down, shoulders back, there it is. And then once you get to where your hands can touch the ground, put your hands to the earth. If you've gone into a wider stretch, your elbows may drop down. Your head may touch the mat. If your head touches the earth or if you have a block and you can bring the block between the earth and you so that your head can touch it, drop that down. Start walking your chest towards your thighs.
And know that if headstand is in your practice, right here you can take it. Tripod, traditional, yeah, and maybe even move into a, a press of the legs, tapping the legs, like whatever's there for you. For those of us who are in this compressed position, I want you to inhale to a flat back. And then pull the crown of your head forward and then bow deeper than you just were. Yeah, and take that extra little edge you created. Lift your tailbone up to the sky. Beautiful work, you guys, all of you, right here. Breathe in. Oh, and Erica's here, too. Awesome. Breathe out. Yeah. You guys are doing absolutely amazing. Right here, big inhale. Big exhale. And those of you who are upside down, slowly make your way back to your feet as we all take a flat back, halfway lift. And then root to rise, press down through your feet with a flat spine, come all the way to standing. I want you to pivot your front foot to 12 o'clock. So you're going to shift the front foot forward and then step your back foot up a little bit. Now, you can keep some distance in between the feet. It doesn't have to be a short stance. It can be a little bit wider. But square your hips to the top of your mat so both hip bones are forward. Reach up and then bow. Hinge at the hips. Drop your chest towards your front side. Then drop your hands and then drop your head. If you need some extra um, room here because you're really tight, you can either minor lift in the back heel or you can bend in the front knee. Take a breath in. And an exhale. Do that one more time. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow. Revolve your pyramid. So from here, you're going to take your left hand to the center of your body and reach your right hand to your spine or to the sky. Sometimes I like to go to my spine to make sure I've got a neutral spine. I'm not tilting. And then I'll reach my hand up. But the choice is yours here. And then look up, inhale. Exhale, just pull your shoulder blades down and into the body. Breath in. Shoulder blades into your spine. Pull them into your body. Chaturanga. Both hands to the mat. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. And take the left side. Warrior one. Step in. Grounding through the four corners of your feet. Warrior two. Open it up. Bring your knees forward and over to the pinky toe. Everybody, freaking asana. Straighten both legs as you come forward and down to the outside of your left leg. Create the awareness, like press your tailbone towards your back foot. Lift your pelvis. The more you push through your feet and your legs, the less weight you have on that bottom hand. Right here, get light. Twist out. Big inhale, twist, exhale. Now oh, come to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, so that your front toes to meet your back foot. Side facing, wide legged forward fold. And this time with a bind. A bind can be interlacing your hands at your low back. It can also be Reaching to opposite hands, one over the shoulder and one under the back. And then everyone reach and look up. <laughs> yeah, look up. Press your pelvis forward. And as you exhale, fold forward, allowing your bind to rinse over your low back. Great job, you guys. Yes. That's it. Keep pressing your bind away from you to get a little more rotation so that it goes up and then over even more. Drop your head. Some of you are kind of like cocking your neck as if you are like looking towards the earth. Like just let it relax here. Shake out your head. Yes. You've got this. 
And then press your spine up and away. Flatten the spine, lift halfway. Release your spine ever so slowly. And then come all the way to a standing position. Pivot your left foot to 12 o'clock. Step your back foot up halfway. Reach up, bow forward, pyramid. Now, you can make any adjustments you need, you guys. Your left side is probably going to feel different than your right side. You need a little more space, take it. Halfway lift, flatten the back. Beautiful, bow forward. Awesome work. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Take revolve, revolve pyramid. My words are getting stuck on my lips, you guys. Yeah, there it is. Your right hand is coming to the center line or over towards your pinky toes, depending on the level of advancement you want here. And your left hand is going to reach up to the sky. Same intention. Flat or neutral spine. Gaze up. Take the twist in your thoracic. So your top rib cage back, bottom rib cage forward. One more, gaze up, inhale. Exhale, take the ribs. Chaturanga Dandasana. Yeah, you got it right here. Upward facing dog, really pull through. Lift your thighs. Downward facing dog, let out a juicy thigh. Ha. Come into high plank. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Four more breaths right here. You've got it. Spread your fingers out. Put your heels over your toes. Zip your legs up. Squeeze your thighs in. One more breath. And then lower to your belly. And find your favorite cheek. <clears throat> Maybe you reach for a sweat towel or a water bottle. Depending on how intense you're going at home or what your environment is like, you may be in the AC and feel fine. You might be outside and, and need a moment. No jumping in the pool, though. Yet. Switch to the other cheek. Shift your gaze to the top of your mat. Locus. Draw your hands up. Lift your shoulders back. Lift your heels up. Flex your toes. Big breath in. Open up. Everybody lower down. And then go again. Locus. This time longer. Go taller. Right here. Expand from the inside out. Lower down. Rock out your hips. And then take upward facing dog. Puff your chest. Open your mid back. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. And from down dog, you'll make your way to your spine. Bridge. For bridge, I want you to bring your heels towards your glutes. So brush your fingertips with your heels. And then your heels are going to be in hip width distance. So press down into the heel. Lift up in your hips. Now pull your shoulder blades in so that you have a little bit of a hitch here. And you can interlace your hands. And then drive down and lift up. Press your hips down. Press your heels down. Lift your hips even higher. Pull here for five. Four, higher, three, two, lower, all the way to the back. Nice work, yeah. Feeling the pressure in your feet, that's what you need for the next six wheels. Just like that. So bring your hands by your ears, and then you're going to pull your fingertips towards your shoulders. And then when I say go, we're going to lift up, extending your legs and your arms. Wheel, go. Beautiful, that's it, just like that. Lift up, yes, Debbie, come on, you've got it, right here. Everybody, full inhale, lower, exhale.
We're gonna go wheel number two. Here we go. Hey, Delaney. Wheel number two, everybody. Yes, that's it. Yeah, maybe you play with your feet. Yeah, I think Nicole's doing like walkovers and handstands. Like whatever is showing up for you today, go there. Bring a little like excitement right here into this wheel. And then lower to the mat. Yeah, if that's what you guys are doing after two, I can't say what, what I can't wait for number six. Yeah, go for three right here. Do three right here. Lift up wheel number three. Awesome, and lower down. We've got three more to go. What are you doing? Lift up, number four, four off the floor. Yes, that's it, everybody, even higher. Lower down. Nice work, we've got two more. These last two, we are gonna kill it. Together, everybody, we're all gonna lift up. And I'll get on the mat with you. So I invite each and every one of you to draw in and truly create your full expression here. It's not going to be a fast one. We're going to really go up. So everybody, draw in, create your foundation, and together let's lift. Now, up, wheel, right here. Big breath. Press into your feet for more power. Really activate the legs here. Don't dip into the back. Press into your hands. Take another big breath in. Draw your chin to your chest and lower to your mat all the way down. You can rock your knees side to side. But I really want you to come back into your foundation. Really pull your heels back in line with your hands. Press up a little to feel your feet. Now press your hands down into the earth for wheel. And then together, everybody go number six. Last one. Lift up. Draw in to create your true full expression out. Yes. Just keep going. Don't quit. For three, two, lower. Amazing, you guys. Great job. We've got about a kanasana. Take the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go to the opposite sides of your mat. And one hand to your heart and one to your belly. <sighs> Do that again. Last one, fill your lungs up, stick out your tongue, ha. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a gentle little hug. Maybe you give yourself an aggressive little hug. Hey, the choice is yours. And pull in your knees, maybe make out with your kneecaps, like whatever feels good today, right? And I want you to lift your feet all the way up to the ceiling. And drop your right foot to a hover. Keep your left foot lifted to the sky. And bring your hands over by your temples. And I want you to start pulsing up. These are our scissor kicks here. So we're going to keep one leg, not switching, just one leg up to the sky, pulsing up. Yeah, and I started my count at about 30. So we're going to keep going right here. Oh, no, you're at 20, 19, 18, 17. You got it. Keep pulsing up. Go to the belly, in and up. Active four here. Yes, that's it. You've got it for 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, tiny pulses, 5, 4, 3, 2. Everybody switch your legs. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, you got it, keep going, right here, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, strong core, right here, keep moving, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bend your knees, bicycle twist, 30, 29, 
28, left and right, bicycle twist, keep going, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I go and hold, come on, lift up, you've got it, wherever you're at, finish strong, right here, we're getting to 100 counts, keep going, for 8 more breaths, here it is, from your skin to your muscle to your bones, hug in everybody, lift the heels up, grab the toes if you need them, you've got this, 4 more breaths, hold in and lift up, from your skin to your muscle to your bone, right here, Full inhale, low boat exhale. One more. Inhale, release. Ah. Nice work. Everybody throw your thumbs up. Yeah, even if you're with your neighbor, give them thumbs up. But give everybody thumbs up because you guys are amazing. Killing it right here. Yeah. If you're watching this video, give a thumbs up because somebody else is watching this video with you. So thumbs up to everybody right here. Nice work. Rock and roll. Knees into your chest, rock and roll three to five times. Downward facing dog. Bring your hands together at the top of your mat. Take your right foot up to the sky and swing it past your right hand for lizard. We're going to take um, a little sample platter of hips today. So I invite you into a full expression of lizard, back leg up, unless you're going into an even fuller, more advanced version. I invite you to stay in um, this variation. Now, if you're moving into a fuller expression, then by all means, go there. Um, if you want to drop to your forearms, the forearms is another option to fully express here. And I invite you all breath, breath. Uh, sometimes it's the simple things that bring us the most ease. Some people go to ice cream. Some people go towards exercise. And the one thing that you can always do to ground and calm your body is breathe. Deep breath. Notice in your practice and the way that you take it or the things that are called like the way that you're Attitude can shift. Your mood can change. And bite breath there. And that happens in life. Like, all it takes is, like, one thing to, like, shift an incredible day, right? And then all we can do is, you know, take another breath and remind ourselves that it's just one thing and let it go. So I invite you right here, use the breath and go a little bit deeper as you start to tackle that discomfort in breath. Where your attention goes, energy flows, you guys. Like, it just is. Take another full breath here. Three like a down dog. Press back. Lift up. Open your legs. Take half pigeon. Pull your right knee in line with your right wrist and then line your shin towards the top of your mat. Check in with your back leg. You want to see that your hip and your knee and your ankle are all in line. So if your leg is a little bit out, pull your ankle in line with your knee, your knee in line with your hip. Now lift up through the hips and take a forward bow. Reaching and walking forward. Now you might come onto your forearms if you have a bolster, a block, a couch cushion, something like that. Debbie's got her little dog. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever you've got right there. And bring ease.
Sean, where is Medea when you need her? Yeah. And take a big breath in. And then exhale as you reach your hands forward. Yeah, notice if you can come off of your prop, like whatever it is that you've chosen. Notice if you can take it to a little bit of a deeper edge. And the funny thing about this is that I think sometimes when we think like, well, if I let that go, I can't come back here, but you can, right? Like if you move that block and you realize like you're not ready to go there, you can always come right back here. And to practice, and you just play with the edge a little. Notice if there's even more, you know, some people go for um, King Pigeon here. So a way into King Pigeon, I, I'm not at King Pigeon, but a way into King Pigeon is bending the back knee and then reaching back with your left arm. And if you can reach back, you can hold there. If you've got more, you just bend the elbow and maybe the, shin, the top of the foot will come into the elbow. If you can bend that, you can reach back for both. Some people can actually just reach back for the toes with both hands and the elbows up to the sky. That's King Pigeon. Yeah, like what variation is available to you, if any, right here? Maybe you go into play. Another three breaths. Nice, Nicole. Great job, Carol. There you go, Sean. Yeah, Sally. Beautiful, you guys. Let's get into play here. Like what is available? And then gently release. Shifting into double pigeon. Bring your back leg around and stack it on top of your front knee. Now, if you're moving into double pigeon for the first time, if you were in your half pigeon, your left leg is coming on top, you guys. And that is going to look a little bit like this. So your knees are in line with your hips and your shins are parallel to your mat with your toes flexed. Now, if you are tight here, it might look like this, bringing the foot over and then you're working to press the glute down. You can also place your hips on a bolster. If you're in a fuller expression of this, go ahead and fold forward and, and deepen. Um, if you're still getting into this, you can take a pillow, a bolster, I'm going to use a block, but something to elevate your hips up. And this will also give you greater access into this pose. And this might be what it looks like at first, right? Feed it up and some room in between both the knees and all. And then even there, if this is um, what your pigeon starts to look like, you can put pillows and bolsters in between the open spaces here. Now sit up tall, everybody, and then open your legs out for the release. Yeah, slowly release. Shake out your legs. And then pull your knees into your chest. Rock and roll, downward facing dog. We're going to sit up for the left side. Lift your left foot up to the sky. Oh, actually, you guys set your hands. We're going into lizard. So bring your hands to the top of your mat. Yeah, I don't want to set up. I tell you to be intentional with the creating the physical foundation, and then I almost forget it, right? And now lift your left foot to the sky. Swing it to the outside of your left hand. Sometimes it gets messy. Yeah, you got to be willing to just, like, adapt. Like, even in the body, like, maybe this side's tight. Maybe it gets a little messy. Like, be willing to adapt, to be playful here. My left side is typically tighter than my right side. There's less access, there's less mobility, and I have to keep playing into that to discover like if I'm making any progress, like I've got to try to go deeper than what's just comfortable. So I invite you that right here. Remember, you have the power of breath, you guys. Yeah, utilize your internal powers, like superheroes. The forearms are available, drop down. If they're not, maybe you have a block or that pillow or something, put that underneath between your forearms and the earth and just see if you can't go a little bit deeper here. 
yeah, it's not always about taking like an inversion or, or levitation, you know, and getting like kind of crazy. Sometimes it's just modifying in a, in a more simple way just to take that a little bit deeper, you know, maybe it's just that two millimeters, you know, maybe it's five inches, but that choice is up to you. And I invite you to just play with deepening and like feeling the edge. Just a few more breaths right here. And so you've dropped your back knee, curl your back toes, press up three-legged down dog. And then move into half pigeon, left knee to the top of your mat, shin parallel to the top of your mat. So your left knee in line with your left hip. Remember, be intentional, set up the foundation. Don't just rush in, like line your ankle with your knee, your knee with your hip. Press up, reach forward and go. You guys are doing incredible. You're amazing and it is awesome. And in the sampler platter, it's an option to like choose what you love and, and what you can leave, right? And I invite you to not wait to move into an edge. If you know that there's some comfort here, start reaching for that edge. Like play in the growth. Like why stay stagnant? Keep moving towards the edge. Keep moving into the fire. Yeah, Sean, reach. Um, go ahead and sit back and maybe move on this side for your king pigeon. Yeah, or just any variation. There it is, Nicole. Yeah, you guys, like, start to play here. From your skin to your muscle to your bone, hug in. One more full inhale. Everybody release. Double pigeon. Last one. Take your right leg over this time. Yeah, Medea, join us for this one. You'll love it. All of you, everyone at home, everyone out by your pools outside, like last hip stretch of our practice. Reach your hands up, sit up tall, and then forward bow. Allow yourself to just reach your chest through your thighs and extend your hands forward. Right in your double pigeon. Everybody fill up. Exhale. Take another big breath in. Exhale deeper. Take another big inhale. Clear out the exhale. And then slowly come up to seated and release. Yeah, release. Shake it out. Shake out your hips. Yeah, there it is, Nicole. Shake it all out, girl. Yeah. <laughs> and then you ground your sit bones into the earth. Scoop out any extra so your sit bones are truly in the mat. And then reach up tall and bow forward. I see lots of furry friends. I see Chili out there. Yeah. 
lots of furry friends coming into the frames here. I don't know Megan and Alex's dogs, but like they're incredible. And I like, they've got some beautiful dogs and they're like playing all around them. Like they're excited to be outside with yoga day. Yeah. Inhale to a half lift. Either that or they're like, oh, sweet, you guys are almost done. Yeah, exhale, bow forward. One more big breath in. And release. Yeah, release your feet, come all the way up to seated. And then roll onto your spine and take an inversion of choice, you guys. You can take waterfall and place something under your hips or just feet up against the wall. Lift your feet to the sky. Shoulder stand, just roll all the way onto your shoulder blades. Bring your hands at your low back. And traditional headstand is always an option. All your re-oxygenated blood flowing back through the body. Your lungs are fully open and alive right now. If you're in shoulder stand, drop your feet behind you, plow. From plow, bend your knees. Karnapadasana. From Karnapadasana to plow, extending the legs, pressing the thighs up. One foot at a time, back to shoulder stand. If you're in a traditional head or handstand, I invite you to child's pose. Everyone together slowly move to your back. Come on to your spine and extend your body out long. Reach your feet out reach your feet out or press your feet out in front of you. Reach your hands over your head. Yeah, that's how we'll stress out. And then bring anything left in your energy pile, that anxiety, bring it right here. Ball up your fists as tight as your fist will ball. Swing your eyes like as tight as you can get them to close. For your teeth as tight as you can go at your teeth. Flex your toes and then inhale to your fullest capacity and hold your breath. Keep holding right here. Five, four, Three, two, Shavasana. Let it go. Final rest. Slowly bring movement to your body. Pulling your knees to your chest. 
roll to your right side for a fetal position. Press up to a seated position. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to your heart center. We'll feel our practice with a C of three rolling ohms. You can enter and exit as you wish. Ah. your thumb knuckles to your forehead center. And together, let's bow. Namaste. Great job, you guys. Yes. Amazing. These classes are amazing because of each and every one of you. Without all of you showing up and being on the map, it wouldn't exist. So thank you guys so much for, for being here this morning, for showing up. Hey, Jackie, um, I love seeing you guys here. Keep coming, letting us know what you need, and um, you guys will see you tomorrow. Have a great one, you guys. Thank you. Don't have too much fun without me. <laughs>